Hi there. Today I wanted to make a quick video on a method I use when I get a new data set. Most people I see with new data, they open it in Excel and look at it or try to pull it into Tableau and use the view data option to start looking at the rows and columns. This is great, but it's almost too much detail and I'm not really sure what I'm going to use this for. So I like to build a, a dashboard that's aimed at a discovery. So how do we do that? The first thing I do is I double click on measure names, which is going to automatically take all of my measures and pull them in at, at their default aggregation. So I can immediately tell you something about this data set. My average discount overall is 5%. I've got almost 17,000 rows in this data set. My sum of profit is 6.7 million and so on. If I wanted to make this more visual, I could use show me at this point, or I could have, instead of clicking on measure names, I could have clicked on measure, measure values. This is going to do the exact same thing with pulling in my measures, but it's going to make it into a nice little graph. So that's pretty handy. So I've got a good idea about what's in this data set, but really to build a discovery dashboard efficiently, I need to know how many unique values are in all my dimensions. So how do I do this without a lot of guesswork? I like to duplicate my data source. I will then rename it for safety purposes. Then I'm going to take all of my measures um, except for number of records, I'm going to keep that one, and I want, to, I want to hide them. Then I want to take all of my dimensions and I want to drag them down to, to measures. I'm going to highlight them one more time. I'm going to right click and I'm going to change the default aggregation to count distinct. Now, once I've done this, my little measure values trick works for this. So it didn't pull in all the measures, it only pulled in the ones that have a data type of a number customer ID, order ID, and number of records, all are numbers. So I'm going to pull number of records out for a second, and then I'm going to put all these strings back in there. I just highlight and drop them onto the measure value shelf. So now I have a ranked list of all my dimensions from the one that has the least unique value to, to the most. So how does this help me? This helps me because when I'm thinking about um, a, a, a discovery dashboard, I want to use the dimensions that have fewer unique values as small bar charts that are, that are used for navigation versus the ones that have a lot more unique values may be used for different types of graphs like maps or scatter plots or things like that. So let me just color code these really quick. So down to container is seven values, seven and less uh, unique dimensions, unique values, and then the rest could be used for different types of graphs. So I'll basically break it down into two areas. Then if I pull back in number of records, I also learn something else new. That since I have more rows than the discrete value of my largest dimension, that means that I do have orders that, that have multiple rows. So that's, that's kind of expected for this data set because one order could have, have multiple products. So that makes sense, but it's always a good thing to pull in just to know. So once I had this information, how would I build this, this discovery dashboard? It may look something like this. We're on my right hand side. I have a bunch of small, small bar charts, all with seven or less um, uh, unique values. And I have actions based on everything. So if I wanted to discover what happens with my jumbo box, I see that my home office a customer segment is not, is not profitable when I'm shipping in a jumbo box. Also see the international is profitable, but it looks like the U.S. is not, not really for that, for that piece. So this helps me dive into my data and understand what's there in a very quick manner. Hope this method works for you, and thanks for watching.